Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview Cleveland High School football player Hunter Morris. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm doing good. Can you talk about how it is playing football in high school and moving on to the college level? Um, there's a big difference between high school football and middle school football, as you know, just because you're playing against grown men and compared to middle school age kids. Um, I really like high school football just because of the bonding, you know, and um, just playing with your brothers every day. Um, high school football, it's, it's taught me a lot as like, as in life too, not just about football. I have uh, some great coaches too that's led me in the right way. High school football is definitely a great way for any kid. What are some of your key achievements that you've achieved so far in high school playing football? Uh, so I was lucky enough to be the first freshman to start varsity at Cleveland um, in Cleveland's program. Um, last year, I broke the single season tackling record, uh, me and my other middle linebacker, actually. Um, but really, the biggest goal is to get another get a ring. So um, really, that's the biggest accomplishment we're going for. But we've, we've made some pretty good runs. And I feel confident. I think I think we have a good chance at it. So. Can you talk a little bit about the recruitment process? So I was finally, right before the COVID-19 hit, I was finally getting introduced to it a little bit more. My body started to finally fill out and all the work that I was putting in finally started to pay off on. I was blessed enough about two or three weeks ago, I picked up my first Division One offer from North Carolina Central. And um, I had a couple of visits lined up for a couple another uh, Division One schools that I was looking forward to meeting uh, other coaches, but COVID obviously didn't allow that. So um, I'm looking forward to really getting deeper into the recruiting process once to COVID-19 starts to let up a little bit. And I can just start to see some business and stuff like that. How was it like to get your first offer from North Carolina Central? Oh, man, that was probably the happiest day of probably, honestly, one of the happiest days of my life just because – like that has been the goal of mine for, like we were talking about earlier, Clayton Civitan Ball. Like it's been like a eight to ten year process, and to see it finally, like that everyday grind, being in the sun, working hard, like it finally paid off. So it was just an awesome feeling, and it it really it's rewarding. It's worth it. It's worth the grind. What are some schools that are looking at you? Um, right now, some of the top schools that are looking at me. Um, obviously North Carolina Central. Um. Elon is another school that wants me to come down. Um, East Tennessee State is a very big school that's interested in. Yeah, um, ECU's got a little bit of interest in me. I've got a, a couple schools really on the East Coast for sure. There's a school in Indiana, Indiana Wesleyan. It's very interested in me. Um, I really just, at this point, um, I need to get down on their campus so the coach can kind of just see me as a, uh, and talk to me in person. And um, I really need to be able to get on the field and play some actual football so the coaches can see me because I'm a totally different player from this year compared to last year, in my opinion. So. How is it like to get offers and people looking at you from different schools, for example, ECU, Carolina, and East Tennessee that you said? It really makes the, the everyday grind worth it. Like, like, I truly, I try to get some of my boys together and do it with me. But when you're working out every, every single day and you're working out these different muscles and you're in the grind and sometimes you wonder, like, is it even going to be worth it? Like, I mean, it's just an everyday thing. It's a commitment thing. It's just about as much mental as it is physical. And to see it finally pay off and see them finally starting to come to you and, like, appreciating you as a player and try to build that relationship with you, it's, it's really rewarding. And it's, it's really awesome, honestly. How is it like as a player with Omar Hampton – and your other players that has offers oh, from man. from many schools and even Barton. Yep. So Marion Hampton, he's just he's a different breed. He's that man could play in college right now. But truly, he's he's made me uh, he's made me a better player just by practicing against him every day. Because when I practice against him. We, come Friday, I'm not worried about any running back. Like practice, I'm more worried about him in practice every day than any other running back, honestly, in the state. Um, he's top notch, but it's it's honestly a, it's a blessing because I, I get 
to practice against five star talent every day. So then when I go to these three, four, and up five stars, I'm used to that every day. So it's nothing new to me. So it's almost, it's a blessing that I get to play with him and I make him better, like, just like he makes me better. So we always go at it and practice and it's always a good time. What do you look forward to accomplishing your senior year of high school at Cleveland? Uh, honestly, I think I talked to Coach Riley about this um, at the end of last season a little bit. I'm kind of looking forward now that I'm finally a senior that I can um, not necessarily take charge, but kind of I feel like not. they were always very talented but they weren't great leaders. And I'm, I want to be able to get this group together and really lead by example more than previous had and, and put the foot down more and like just focus a lot more and just become a better team. And just, I, I want these seniors to be a better leader this year. That's really do what I want to focus on. And if that's the case, I think that'll make us 10 times sharper when it comes game day. Do you see you getting more offers your senior year? Uh, if if I'm lucky enough to um, stay healthy and I keep grinding the way I am, um, I definitely see the possibility of some more offers. I have my fingers crossed on that for sure. Um, with that being said, if we're lucky enough to get on the field, I will be. I think I think I have a good shot at it. I'm I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I can stay healthy. And um, keep performing the way I have been. What advice would you give upcoming high school athletes looking to get recruited? Um, really focus on the little things. Um, do something every day, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, 15 minutes, push-ups between a video game. Just do something little every day to improve your game because that's really been my mentality is just chip away every day and stay consistency is very key, especially for the sport of uh, football. That is honestly the best advice I could give. Um, and don't never really give up on yourself either. Don't, don't get down on yourself. Just always stay positive and chip away at your dream. That's the best advice I can give. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? All right, so Instagram is the Hunter Morris. Follow that. My Twitter is going to be Hunter Morris underscore. And yeah, if you want to add me on Snapchat, that's pretty cool too. H Morris fifty four. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> thank, thank you again, Hunter, for your interview, and best of luck in the recruitment process. You can find Brandis. I appreciate you getting up with me. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find us on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Hunter, for your interview. Yep, I got you, my man. Everybody go subscribe right now. Thank you.